morning everyone so today i'm going to um take you through an ordinary day uh, in the life of myself and uh, luke holmes and show you what it's like to uh, run a portfolio of properties and um, be a property investor and uh, the trials and tribulations that come with it all so typically i get up about five o'clock in the morning um i've already done that i didn't think you'd want to see that i uh i work out and i um i go through all my numbers so all the different departments have to send me spreadsheets and uh they have key metrics on which i then use to, to run the business so i know how the business is running based on you know the daily booking totals from yesterday um how many cleans we've got scheduled today how many um houses we've got empty or rooms we've got empty how many tenants we've got in arrears so all of these key metrics um i track and um when the office is closed down on an evening they send all the reports over to me so typically on a morning i get up i put all my metrics into my um my spreadsheets and i kind of then start firing off emails to the team and just making sure that we're, we're keeping on top of stuff and then i hit the gym have some breakfast and then away we go and um and then we just see how the day takes us but the key stuff's already done i've already told the team what needs doing today and then um i can now go about my day and uh and well let's see what happens then so I use my drive time to be efficient as possible, make phone calls and um, I tend to run a lot of my videos for the academy. Um, so let's dive into that and take a look what's next. I just want to talk quickly about uh, company sales and repossession sales. Obviously yesterday, um, well, let's take back the beginning. So I bought a five bed HMO for £97,500 about six weeks ago. Uh, we did the survey on it. Uh, we flagged up that there might be some subsidence so I not so much pulled out but told them that they'd have to uh, consider a much lower offer um, did a bit of digging and re found that it wasn't actually subsidence um, so uh, but the survey did say that so I used that as a bit of a bargain tool and I managed to get the property down to a 90 grand purchase price so we agreed that three weeks ago on a quick completion now with company sales don't know whether you know or not but you have to um, that they have to put a public notice up for seven days and for the whole time that you're going through the buying process um, they can sell that property they continue to do viewings etc so we did all that and you know we're three weeks down the line now we've done surveys we've done all the solicitors everything like that and i transferred my money yesterday morning um 93,750 quid or whatever it was uh, I got an email back from the solicitor asking if I wanted to complete, which I stated I did. And then I got an email back saying, you need to ring the estate agent. So I rang the estate agent and they had a viewing yesterday. The guy put in a substan substantially increased offer. Um, and so the company wanted to take that offer. So not great, um, but all is not lost. I am in renegotiations with them. I put another offer on the table yesterday, but it was with the, the uh, proviso that we complete before two o'clock today. So um, let's see what that brings. But the lesson learned uh, for all of you is if you are gonna get involved in a company sale, you know, I've probably spent, I don't know, a thousand pounds so far on surveys, lists, that sort of stuff. So obviously I don't want to waste a thousand pounds you know it's not the end of the world if, if it doesn't go ahead but you know i'd rather not waste a thousand pounds but for me it's it was a good deal you know it should revalue at 150 when we're done about a 20 grand refurb and it should cash flow uh it's a hmo it's gonna be a five bed hmo so it should cash flow 1700 quid a month um you know which is, is a decent return um each year so i don't really want to just give up on it but if you are going to get involved in company sales and you are going to start um, spending the money make sure you're cash ready you know make sure you're ready to go and you can act quickly and you know you can get these deals over the line as quick as you possibly can so you know it, it, it reduces the risk of, of getting gazumped and somebody else diving in there and stealing your sale from you and ultimately you having to blow a thousand pounds so uh, so yeah so be aware when you when you when you're bidding on company sales so i'm just at uh, one of the projects that we've had on the go here um it's been going on far too long we're a couple of weeks behind and um it's just not good enough really so i'm just trying to um see what's what and trying to get it figured out um just want to make sure i've got the value coming on monday for the refinance so i need to get it sorted so um that's just what we're here to do i just want to check it out and see what's going on so we put lock boxes on all of our properties to make it easy access so let's get the code and let's go in
So here we are, uh, this was a full refurb job. Um, I've actually not been in here for a while, so I, I try not to go near the project as much as I uh, need to. Uh, I kind of leave everyone to that, but I think I've got to take a bit of responsibility for leaving this one alone too much, um, you know, and that's probably why I rent the mess we're in. So, um, you know, we should have had this tenanted by now. You know, as you can see, there's, there's no carpets down yet. Um, it was a big job. But um, you know, it just it just wasn't done properly. Uh, we had a bit of damp, and um, you know, it, it should have been done. So um, it's just you know, lessons learned, I guess. But you know, we, we, we've got to get this place finished off, and uh, you know, I've got the value coming around here on Monday. So uh, hopefully, we can get it done. So we uh, I'll just quickly give you a, a little tour. I'll just spin this round. Things we did was um, you know, obviously full decoration. Uh, I tend to stick with the grey and the white works well got the carpets coming in here uh, get measured today and coming in saturday and then we put a brand new kitchen in this was kind of two tier kitchens here and there was a door actually there so we've moved the door um brand new kitchen in and um, as you see all the electrics and then this was um a very very strange bathroom so we had um there was a bath there um a little L shaped bath and uh, this is a boiler which was boxed in and then we had to create um this shower here which um we've done a cracking job of that to be fair uh, that was a bath and that room there was just um it, it, there just was nothing there that was just total wasted space so we got rid of the bath um it was riddled with damp in here and that was the boiler so um cracking job there to be fair this bathroom's absolutely fantastic i'm loving that uh, really impressed with that uh, kitchen looks great as well once you get all that decorated and get the flooring down and uh and then just tidy about the back so um, this will rent well, uh, it, it really will rent well, but um, we've just got to get it over the line now. So the next piece of the puzzle this morning is um, I'm going to meet a, a landlord that we do some work with and um, check out what they, um, they've got another property that they want to potentially SA, so we're gonna have a look at that. And, um, you know, for me, I don't do that many viewings anymore, um, but it's all about building the relationship. You know, I'm going here to further and cement that relationship, that we're the best partner to work with. And uh, ultimately we get more and more properties off these people. So um, I don't go on that many viewings these days. Um, you know, I kind of leave that to, to the sources that are involved in the business now. But, um, you know, in the early days, I was on a lot of viewings every single week and I do find that it's a hugely important part of uh, getting out there and uh, building those relationships. You know, as I said, I think that the, the ones that I've, I've set up originally and the relationships I originally developed, I think it's important that I continue those relationships, which is why I'm here today. Um, so we're gonna have a quick look at this potential five bed, um, either HMO or service accommodation unit. So let's take a look inside. So positive meeting with the um, landlord there, um, you know, They've got a portfolio of houses. Uh, that was another five one that they refurbed. So just heading into the office here now. Uh, I've got a Zoom call with a mentee and uh, I'm gonna teach him a few things, just on board him and show him around the academy and get him going. Um, and then we are busy, busy, busy with valuers and uh, hopefully we're gonna find out about this property in a bit. So uh, we're gonna do a bit of education and then uh, we'll get back on the property side. Morning. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks you. Good man. How's your week? No, I'm right, happy day. <laughs> yeah, nice, yeah, it's boiling here today. I think it's gonna be like 25 degrees or something. Yeah, happy days. All right, cool, cool. All right, cool, let's get stuck in. Um, I'll show you, um, have you had a dive around the academy so far, yeah? All right. Y yeah. Cool, all right, well, let me just, um, I'll, uh, yeah, it's full of content, so um, we'll get, um, I'll show you around, and then uh, I'll show you, have you downloaded your workbook yet? 
Cool. All right. So basically, we'll go through kind of week one, week two, and we'll we'll, we'll have a look at what's needed uh, for the next few weeks, and then uh, set a plan of attack and uh, and get 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 ourselves going. So, but uh, two seconds, I'll just log in. Over. So as you can see, um, you know I've done quite a lot already today. Um, you know we've been the gym, we've I've given all my instructions to my team. Uh, I've been seeing one of the refurbs and given further instructions on what needs to happen to get that finished because we've got to get that rented out. That's driving on too much now. Um, I've been and met one of my JV partners, and we're looking at another five bed opportunity to either run as a HMO or as SA. And I've already spoken to one of my mentees who we've just recently onboarded on the program, and that's by ten o'clock. So. Um, you know, people wonder why I get fast results and how I get all the results I get. Well, this is kind of the work that goes in behind the scenes. So if you want the same, maybe think about how your day plans out and how you run your diary. Every day you've got to get some fuel in you, get some Starbucks after 11 on milk cap. So here we are, uh, under the next. So well, here we are at uh, a flat that we bought three weeks ago. Um, the valuer is coming any minute to revalue it and uh, hopefully we'll get the uplift and then get the money back out and recycle it on the sort of BRR strategy that we use um, very, very effectively time and time again. So, um, you know, I you know, I, I don't normally meet the valuers. I'd normally send someone from the office. Um, but at the same time, I think that the passive, the passive income lifestyle, it, it, it's, it's a fine balance. You know, if I've got nothing to do, then what's the point in, you know, either sending someone from the office when they could be doing something else or, or send them on the, you know, I tend to send my head cleaner sometimes, but what's the point in dragging her away from her job? You know, I'm in the area, um, you know, I'm going to meet everybody for the HMO we've just completed on at three o'clock. So, you know, they, I'm, I'm in the area to get the keys to that. So I might as well let, let the value in and have a bit of crack with them and, um, you know, try and, um, you know, sell the property to them and get the, the value uplifted. So, you know, this passive landlord lifestyle, you've got to, it's a fine balance between um, being totally hands off and, and choosing what's right and wrong. Don't get me wrong, if I had something more important to do, i.e., you know, a call with an investor or, um, you know, go meet an investor or, you know, uh, you know, so, uh, solicitors or, or anything more important to do, then yeah, we'd send somebody else. But, you know, if you can. You know, if if it's not that important and you can you know do it, then then just do it. You know, I don't think there's a need to be um, this sort of I don't get involved in this and I don't get involved in that. I think as a business owner, you've got to be always involved in everything. And plus, you know, I haven't seen this place since um, since we looked at it um, you know ages ago. So it'd be nice to see what the refurb's like. Just keep an eye on you know the trades and and see what um, see what what they're doing. And um, you know, we've got one project down the road which I showed you earlier, which hasn't gone to plan, um, and that's probably because. Uh, maybe I didn't check in enough on it. So, um, so yeah. So we'll show the valuer this place, and um, and then we've got solicitors, and then hopefully get these keys, and then show the builders. So busy day ahead, and um, but all good, you know, all good. We just need to get this place rented and get it cash flowing. Let's go take a look. So this was a full refurb job. Um, it sat empty for quite some time. It's a two bed flat. Um, cracking job with the kitchen. Obviously we've been doing the greys for quite some time now. Uh, this, I looked at this um, back in the last year. Um, what a difference this place makes. Um, just done it properly. Perfect, you know, brand new bathroom in there. That looks fantastic. Got the main bedroom, you know, the car putting the carpets down just makes these rooms look so much bigger. Um, you know, great paint finish. Um, you know, another job well done. Nice little view out of here. Um, yeah, you know, really, really pleased with that. I think this is a really, really, really well done. Um, refurb team have absolutely smashed that. Um, couldn't ask for anything more. So, great. Hopefully, the value will think the same and um. Just wait for him to come now and get it all valued up. So the next piece of the puzzle today is solicitors. Um, one thing that I haven't managed to leverage out, and I'm not sure if you ever can, is um, personal guarantees. Obviously, if you're buying an unlimited company, you have to personally guarantee the mortgages. So we've got a couple of refinances going through that I need to come and sign for. And you have to use a different solicitor to the one that you use for your conveyancing as well, which can cause complications and just a bit more time and effort. Um, fortunately, I haven't managed to leverage that part out yet. I'm not sure if you ever can. Uh, so here we are, just um, 
pop in, quick five, ten minutes, got a great relationship with Nicola already. I've done many of these before, so it is just a, a quick, very quick process. And, uh, and then we'll get the docs over to my other solicitors so we can complete on these properties next week. So let's take a look inside. So here we are um, at the HMO now. We've managed to get sold. Um, give you a quick tour. It's um, this is the one that was in the corporate sale, and it's been a bit of a nightmare. But uh, hey, you got the keys eventually. That's what counts. So um, let's have a look around and uh, see what it all looks like. So this is a full job rewire the lot. Um, it's been in a hell of a state. It was a repossession. So that's going to be a bedroom. Um, I'm going to rip all this out, I'm actually going to make this a bedroom. We're going to turn this into a better shower room uh, and obviously probably put a corridor through here uh, where there's a bedroom and then open up this corridor space. So in there there'll be kind of a wall going down there. Um, pull the stairs back here, obviously well, we'll probably open this up, just get rid of that all together. And then we have second bathroom up here. Obviously with the HMO, I think when you've got five people, you, you need plenty of bathrooms and toilets to make them work. I think one bathroom is just not enough. So, um, fairly standard bedroom in there. Again, just decoration. Then we're gonna turn this into lounge kitchen area. Uh, big enough space. Could make a really good bedroom with an ensuite, but I just don't think it's necessary. Um, so, and then we uh, need to sort these stairs out and We've got two dormer rooms up here, which need to do a bit of work. So uh, we need to put bigger windows in. Those windows aren't uh, enough. And uh, same in there, put the windows in there. So, but you know, good space, um, good space. And if we keep the refurb cost tight, then, you know, it should be a good investment for us. So um, looking forward to seeing how this one pans out. So that's me back home. Um, that's a, a bit of a day in, in the life of uh, Luke Holmes and, and mine. Um, obviously quite a busy day today compared to normal. It's sort of four o'clock-ish now. Um, so I'll go and spend a bit of time with the kids and um, get everything boxed off. I've got a couple of discovery calls to do tonight. I've uh, been doing a few of them during the day through the cars and move around. So again, just trying to maximize that time. But a uh, pretty successful day. Uh, met all the builders at the refurb and you know excited to get that started on monday and get that hmo turned around as quick as possible have a great day have a great weekend everyone take care